Helmets are extremely important. They can save your life when used properly. In 2005, 784 bicycle riders died on U.S. roads. It is estimated that 75% of these deaths could have been prevented if the rider was wearing a helmet. Here's shocking news. More than 40% of all bicycle-related accidents are within our age group, ages 14 and under. But bicycle riding is not the only time for wearing a helmet. Skateboarders, roller skaters, skiers, motorcyclists, ATV riders, and even horseback riders should wear helmets. Helmets soften the impact when the foam inside crushes or slowly deforms. The helmet must stay on your head and it must be fastened. You should replace your helmet if it no longer fits correctly, if the outside is foam and not plastic, or if you crash it. There are many different helmets for different sports, so be sure to buy the right one. Florida law states that motorcycle riders under 21 years of age must wear a helmet. Most skate parks also have rules for wearing protective gear. Don't take the risk of suffering a life-changing or fatal head injury because you think wearing a helmet makes you look stupid or messes up your hair. Make the right choice. Wear a helmet. Cortland Doherty, TSC News. Hello, ghouls and gals, warlocks and witches, etc., etc. You get the shot point. Welcome to the frightening 411 with me, Spinderella, queen of the cobwebs. Now on with the chilling news. Honor society meetings will be held on the second and fourth Thursday of each month. And students, don't forget, if you read and pass AR tests, you'll be rewarded with spooktacular prizes and also after school tutoring will be held at 355 to 455 p.m. in room 107. Have a bloody good day. The bloodier the better. <laughs> Imagine living without electricity, running water, and many of the other things we take for granted for a whole week. The Florida Frontiersmen is a nonprofit organization hoping to preserve the skills of the first settlers. Seventh grader Maria Tello is attending her third year at the Alify River Rendezvous. For an early American lifestyle experience, Alify River Rendezvous is a great place to visit. You will learn life skills of the first settlers and much more. Cortland Doherty, TSC News. Teacher of the Year is a very honorable award given to some of the lucky teachers here in Polk County. One teacher from every school is chosen to represent that school as Teacher of the Year. Teacher of the Year for the whole Polk County will be chosen on February 15th during the Business Partner Banquet at the Lakeland Center. From our school, Mr. S, who is an ESC teacher here at Lake Gibson, was chosen to represent our school. I had a chance to sit down with Mr. S to discuss this great achievement. Thank you, Mr. S, and congratulations. Cortland Doherty, TSC News. Fellas, I know what you want for Valentine's Day. You want to sit on that couch and clutch that remote while watching your TV. Well, that's not going to happen. Because you have ladies out there that want Valentine's gifts. And I'm here to help you. Because I'm Dr. Okra Wimpery, love specialist. Now, it all depends on your relationship and how long it's been going strong. If it's a young relationship, it's your best bet to get some roses. Red, preferably. But carnations are good, which are on sale at all lunches for $2. If it's a long relationship, a promise ring or some bling bling goes just fine. And believe me, you'll know when you've done a good job.